Violet's story. When I first saw him on the side of the road, he looked so lost and helpless. I almost drove past, thinking he was just another stray, but something tugged at my heart, and I couldn't leave him behind. He was so thirsty and hungry, and it broke my heart to see him like that. I took him in, hoping to find his puppies, but there were none. The thought that they might have been used for breeding and then abandoned, just like him, is heartbreaking. Now, though, he's safe with me. We've been to the vet, and though he was a bit undernourished, he's healthy and full of life. I've given him a warm bed, plenty of food, and all the love he deserves. It's amazing to see how quickly he's blossomed, his tail never stops wagging, and his eyes have this new sparkle. He's getting presents and affection from everyone who meets him. It's a reminder that even in a world that can be so cruel, a little kindness can make all the difference. Seeing him happy, knowing he's finally found a place where he's cherished, makes it all worth it. The whole situation, like it was the last thing that I expected to do was moving into a new apartment and finding a dog. Um, so life has definitely thrown me a curveball at the moment, but I am very, very thankful and I'm really happy and I love her so much. She really is just the sweetest thing. Like I keep saying that, but like she is so gentle. She's so sweet. She's so calm. She's such a good dog. Her, she's such a good girl. Violet. Violet. She doesn't know her name yet, but we're, we're working on it. But anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so, so much. If you feel it in your heart, this is not me asking, but if you feel it in your heart, uh, I did put the link in my bio for her wish list uh, for some things that she might need and want. Um, and then also anything helps, anything. I'm not asking for anything, even just the words of encouragement. If you could just leave a positive comment for us because we really need it right now. I'm so proud of her um, for being this strong and this brave. I mean, that's really sweet, isn't it? I mean, you see a dog on the side of the road and you probably think, oh, he's cute, you know, he'll have his own, he won't stop. But, you know, this, well, this woman, you know, she stopped, she saved him, he was you know, clearly very, very thirsty, very hungry, got in the back of the car and uh, was then looking for her puppies, but you know, couldn't find them. Which is, you know, it's really sad because you know, that dog would have been really, well, it's a stupid, easy thing to say really, but you know, love them puppies and, you know, no, nah, let's be honest, I'm going to see them again. And, you know, we don't know what's happened to them, but, you know, it mentions in the video, you know, a lot of the time these dogs will get, you know, used for breeding and then as soon as, like, the people who breed, you know, they've kind of got the use out of the dogs, they'll just dump them, you know, which is horrific and really sad. And, you know, it kind of shows both sides of humanity, doesn't it? You've got one side, which is just, uh, it's just horrific, I think, really, you know, using this creature, this animal, just for, to serve a purpose, and then not even like looking after her after, just dumping it on the side of the road, look, you're dead to us, you know, go and look after yourself, and then you've got the other side, this woman who has saved her life, really. You know, she's took her in, been to the vet, you know, all checked up, and now, now look, she's getting presents sent to her, she's getting love, she's getting affection, got a big warm bed, all the food and drink she'd want. So uh, it's a really nice story, you know, and but as I say, it shows the other side, you know, the, the horrificness of kind of breeding in general, because, you know, it's a, it's a problem, you know, in America and then everywhere, you know, it happens a lot. So it's lucky we've got this side, you know, these kind of people who will come in, save them and give them the best life ever. Thank you so much for watching Possum Pets. It's goodbye from me and Zoe. There you go. Good girl.